Hey dog pound, this is a dog. And it's kingdom raid time, so I've got to hustle. Because uh, I'm trying not to get killed. And I'm trying to get my points on. So I got 34 seconds, I gotta find some place to hit. So let's do this. Need to go somewhere just out and about. At reset. Come on. No, no, no. No. Uh, okay. What's going on? What the heck? Looks like I've got a random teleport to uh, not get burned. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Now I've got to go back to finding a spot. Where's a good spot? Let's go. Looks like I found my huckleberry. Time for the speed hit. Yeah, buddy. There we go. Okay, read, read, read. Yep, yeah, continue my attack. Set my march. Use that wound conversion scroll. Yeah, yeah. And speed time. Go, 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 go. What are you doing? Go. Go, 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 go! Boom, shakalaka! Check that out. 393,000 dead troops. Yeah! Got my points right off the bat. Alright, hey, let's get rid of this. This guy to go. Alright. Speed it, McPhee. That was my first speed hit. Yeah, buddy. As you see here, I got my rank 3 rewards, all 3 ranks, yeah yeah. Good hit. Let's check it out. Yeah. Sorry, I'm being semi quiet, y'all. Trying not to die here. <clears throat> yeah, that was a nice hit.
Oh, there you go. I'm out already. Guardians here. Yeah, the Guardian. Not that he can hear me, but you know. What's up? Let everybody know where I'm at. Where's the dog at? The dog is right here. Yeah, buddy. Mm, he's got nothing. Troops, get that iron. Okay. Yeah, that's one with all the iron. Yeah, buddy. Give me that iron, homie. Give it up. Because the dog needs iron. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Come on. Once my guys return, send more.
Yes, super tension. So much tension. This always gets me super tense because there's some big ends around that can uh, just smoke me. So I don't like being smoked. Come on, return, return. All my guys need to return. And I'm out. Now I gotta find another spot to hit. So far, so good. No one's in that desert. Who fam? I don't know who fam is, but. We got fam. What's up, fam? No, no, no fam. There's a loose wheel. It doesn't look like a big fam. Or maybe they're hiding. Come on. Where are they all at? Come on. There's nobody there. Okay. Fam doesn't have a lot of fam. Alright, well. I guess I feel bad. Hey KC, who are you guys? KPN. Let's go. <laughs> Somebody's not in the alliance. Oh there we go. What? Where's my dragon? What the? Uh, where? Where's my dragon? What just happened to my dragon? Oh, let me look at the. Where did my dragon go? That was super weird. How many troops do they have? That was very weird. Let's come over here and resurrect because, uh, it's so weird. It's like my dragon was missing. Very weird. I have to 
be right back. Okay, I had to bounce out. Nothing like getting a work call in the middle of a video. Yeah, that's fun. That's not nerve-wracking at all. All right, where was I? Where was I before I was so rudely interrupted? Are they burning that guy? Because he's got a lot of wood. All right, let's see if they, they mess with me. I'm going to come right back here and take his wood. There's a dude right there. I think his bubble pop pop. Yeah, I'm gonna hit him. Nine million wood. Yeah, buddy. You know what I like. Right. Come on, see my guys. Thank you. There we go. Come on. Oh, I should have used the wound conversion scroll. Oh, never mind. He had nothing. Oh, he's got a little bit of wood. How much wood did I get? 1.6, 4.8. All right, we should be cleaned out of wood. Cleaned out of wood. Yep. Good, good. Good, good. Cleaned out of wood. Ooh, wait a minute. I usually don't like being in people's hives and attacking because uh, they can do stuff to me. No wood there. No wood there. Alright, I must teleport out. I got that wood. Once my guys are back, I'll pour it out with the rando. Come on, come on. Thank you. Randoed out. It'd be nice if I randoed into somebody who else randoed. And I'm back. After some technical difficulties, um, <clears throat> as you can see, I'm back in my hive now. Uh, the CRE hive. Uh, let's see how we did. We only have three hours left in. Three hours, 30 minutes left in raid. Uh, so let's see how we did. I did end up uh, being able to get back on uh, to my account and do a little more raiding. But um, yeah, uh, technical difficulties. I had to, to uh, log off and then go remotely onto my uh, phone. Anyway. Thank goodness I did not get burned, right? I was able to uh, do some things to make sure I didn't get burned. I did some random teleporting because um, if uh, you see here, during raid, if you're attacking, you have about a, I think it's a 10 minute timer for 
uh, cooldown after you attack before you can shield. So, um, yeah, uh, I had to wait 10 minutes before uh, I could shield. And I had to hop around like a little uh, prancing dog to make sure I didn't get burned by anybody. Um, let's see, let's talk about some optimizations for raiding uh, to kind of close this video out. So, number one, city buffs, right? You have defense. So, typically you get some of these during... Or you get these during uh, for rewards during events. Uh, the Alliance store has that one right there on sale every once in a while. Scoop it up for uh, it's only a thousand uh, points, thousand a uh, thousand uh, of these Alliance store points. And then also you see the attack one, that one drops to a thousand. It's 90% off uh, as well every once in a while. As you can see, uh, peace shields, 90% off, eight hour. And if you uh, pay for your uh, subscription to KOA, the monthly subscription, uh, you can also get one for 70% off. So there we go. Uh, attack, defense. As you can see, I have some from uh, either previous purchases or events. Uh, these are the standard ones, right? You'll be able to purchase them at any time. Some events give you uh, even bigger ones um, that don't show up here. And those are, you know, event specific. Let's see. Oh, let's go back to optimizations. Come on, or city buffs, so I can finish. March capacity. I have one from the rewards I got in uh, in actually this event. So boost your capacity to by twenty five percent for twelve hours. Uh, this is the standard one. There's an even bigger one that you get through rewards. I keep closing. Come on, dog. And then anti-scout. Typically you're buying anti-scout, but I've gotten some anti-scout in rewards as well. Um, they weren't like these big old 12-hour ones, but it could happen. Uh, you buy these, it prevents uh, enemies from scouting your city. So if you do, if you are lucky enough to go out raiding with one of your heavies, right? Your heavy can uh, reinforce you with a march, and then you can hop around uh raiding to your heart's content and if somebody doesn't scout you and they just attack they end up running into not just all your troops but your heavy's troops as well and then they have a bad day so let's see other optimizations as you see under skills here um this is a good one right Colossal March for 30 minutes, you get your March capacity increased by 10%. Right? So you could send a bigger March to hit your enemies with. Uh, maybe if they've got more troops, you can uh, whack their troops because you've now got more troops and take more resources because you're using more troops. March capacity is important. Life Preserver. Uh, so it adds 30% to your wound conversion, uh, lasts for 30 minutes. So that way, the more law, you know, if you hit somebody and suffer a lot of losses and then they come back, uh, then those losses, w those troops that would be losses get converted into wounding and you can just, um, heal them. And, uh, if you, if you haven't seen from here in the, uh, like I was saying earlier, there's the border hospital, right? You don't have to pay to heal these guys in here, uh, but you will unless you want to instantly heal. But if you have enough speed ups, it's, yeah, you, you just use the speed ups rather than, um, well, sorry, in the border hospital, uh, you can't really speed them up. 
it's just time. It's free healing. Uh, you could either pay for the time or uh, or you have to just let, let the timer run out. Uh, losses, although, uh, get, um, as it says here, only 10% of the truth will die in Kingdom Raid. So if you send out a march and your losses are uh, 27,000, like we saw that one march, somehow I got bugged by not having my dragon. I lost, you know, 2,700 troops out of that 27,000 losses that are gone, gone. So, um, but the ones that come into the losses category, or losses area of the Porter Hospital, you get resurrection coins, or you can use resurrection coins to revive the dead troops. Let's see, so typically when I'm going into raid, I dump as much as I can into war. Uh, I waffle between health and defense. Uh, there's probably somebody out there who can uh, give me a, a better um, reasoning behind which one's better, defense or health of the troops. Uh, it's just my personal preference, um, not taking into consideration the game mechanics. Uh, yeah, so bow attack, right? Got to do as much damage as you can uh, because bowman's uh, defense and health is pretty much useless. I at least put that into cav to have a little bit more use. And of course, infantry defense and health are super important. There's that colossal march skill. March speed, right? Especially when you're raiding in an area where people are much more powerful than you, you need to have really good march speed so you can speed in and speed out as fast as possible. And then, uh, of course, bow, bow attack, more march capacity, more wound conversion, more march speed, right? March capacity, there's that skill life preserver. These are just wasted. And then, of course, troop stats. These are, as far as non, uh, what is, how does Heretic call it? He calls it secondary stats, I think, or lower stats. Um, for the non-lower stats, the troop stats are your most important stats because they get distributed through all your troops. So, troop attack. Troop defense, troop health, max those out. Um, I think I maxed all this out while my hero, like the way you see it, right? Skipping certain things. Um, when my hero was 48, level 48, and you can do all, come all the way here while skipping, you know, hop skipping and jumping over certain talents that are less important. Um, to get to here, All right? This is ten percent, ten percent, and ten percent. All right. So, and then uh, I, you know, I love me my instant yield, and then just to just to do it, uh, a point in Monster Hunter for monster speed, which doesn't help you in raid. Okay. Let's see what other optimizations. Of course, your dragon, right? Your dragon is going to be, as you saw, uh, I attacked uh, an SH-32 with, uh, I would say, not great stats. Maybe great for a 32, uh, but um, I didn't have my dragon, and I lost. Like, I had T-11 troops, I had, you know, I didn't have as many troops as he had in his SH, but um, let's actually take a look at it. Uh, let's see, let's see the dog's pain. So this is a real-world application of how important your dragon is. Oh boy. As you see, I did do some rating, uh, like I said, uh, on my phone. But here you go. So this individual, I didn't have my dragon for some buggy reason. Uh, let's see. So uh, they had... They had 612,000 troops. 
I sent half that many troops, right? Uh, you see how low my stats were, right? Uh, you've seen other reports. Let's just go when I uh, revenged upon them with my dragon. My stats are, you know, in some cases three times higher troop attack. Uh, in other cases, double their stats with my dragon. Look at my, like my damage, double, triple, quadruple damage. Like, dragon is super duper important. Uh, and, right, we saw the difference the dragon makes between somebody who's got, uh, I hate to say, Horrible stats, but they don't have great stats. For an SH-32, they do not have great stats. But look at this. Look, my wound conversion was 19 as opposed to 33%. Um, yeah, he was rained up the wazoo. Okay, no big deal. In comparison to me sending... You know, let's look at my team, right? I sent... A ton of T11, T10, and they had just T9s, T8s, T6s, T5s, T7. I mean, they had, they had like, yeah, but the dragon, that was the key. I was missing a dragon, therefore I lost. So dragon, very important in attacks. Like, okay, so again, I went at him again. I barely lost anything, and I just blew through all their troops. Right, there's my stats with my dragon. Anyway, I think I've uh, beat that dead dragon horse. You know what I mean. Anyway, dragon stats, super important to raid. Right, as you saw, like, come over here, all this 700%, 744% there, 638% there, huge stat increases with your dragon. You know, I mean, I can't, I can't um, say it enough, like, your dragon is very important. So optimizing your dragon is very, very, very important to raid. All right. Let's see. Let's see what else we got before we close this uh, video out. I'll see your your research, right? Um, as you can see here, wound conversion, right? Super important. Optimizing your wound conversion. I still have one more percent I can add here. Ah, my uh, crit, right? The crit comes from Undying Oath. Critical is very important in KOA, right? Uh, being able to do uh, all that extra damage, 180% damage. Um, Heretic has a great video about crit, uh, and I'll learn how to link it to my videos, uh, so that way uh, you guys can see that. Uh, of course, uh, in my descriptions, I have Heretic's channel. Please, uh, Check out his videos, like, comment, and subscribe. Fuel that algorithm. You know, show him some love. Anyway, uh, each one of them gets you 10%. 10, 20, 30, with the max to 40. I only have uh, 36. 
or sorry, 33.25% because uh, it gets really expensive towards the end. Uh, this Philosopher Stones, uh, like I've, after I, I spent a big chunk of Philosopher Stones, you know, it's just slowly gathering them up. Obviously, market capacity is really important, as I've already talked about. Uh, combat. I have found that if you can gather the resources enough to do this, Combat 2 is way more efficient than Combat 1, because then you get troop attack right off the bat. Look at that, 8% from the word go. But as you'll as I'll show you, they get really freaking expensive. Combat 2 research is very resource heavy. Um, you see, I've tuned it to the way that I play. Uh, I am infantry health defense. Uh, I rely heavily on entry, infantry health and defense. Um, and my troop stats. And then bow attack, you know, then attack stats for the other um, troop types. So I'm not really too much for a siege individual, because um, not a lot of people uh, hang their hats on their traps. But bow attack, more march capacity, this gives me a total bonus of 10,000, that's great. Um, and again, see, I'm, I'm working on the infantry health and defense and my troop attack stats. Uh, but they are very expensive, as you can see. And they give uh, the combat stats, give, you see here, 7% uh, early on, and then it jumps to. 8% on the last one. So, you know, the the percentages go up as So, the last the last one was uh 8%. Now I can get up to 12% to my troop attack and it'll be my troop stats as well. So, now let's go to combat 1 and early on you know, you're not going to get a whole lot of, see, 3, 1% per, right? But if you, even if you go all the way up to the end, let's go bow attack, the total is 12%, so 2% per, um, and you got to go six of them to get to that 12%. So you got to do this, run through this six times to get to that 12%. And yeah. Once I start getting into this area of, uh, what do you call it, um, combat one, then it starts making some sense, right, to uh, the max is 12. Uh, and the, the resources are about uh, similar to the early on um, combat two costs so yeah it's it's per resource per percentage combat 2 is well it's a lot more resources it's also a lot more percentage and I think that uh, that kind of balances it out uh, you don't get a lot over here and that's so it makes it really hard to want to put points in here uh, to get two percent because you get two percent and it takes you three days to do it and yeah, I get to twelve percent, but I got to keep grinding away at that two percent mark. Where again, if you look at combat three, twenty-one percent, seven, seven, seven. You do it three times, so it's just it just makes a little more. It just makes more sense, and yeah, it's more expensive initially, but you get more for it. So, and King's Legion. March capacity. This is where, you know, going over 40 and getting into 41 is super important. And it gets really expensive because of this. Well, not just because of this, because you need a crazy amount of, um, 
of Philosopher's Stones to get here. But uh, the Deadly Arms, so, uh, you know, uh, your, uh, the, um, what do you call it, the death rate, right? So if you max this out, every time you hit somebody, 5% of the troops that you kill are dead, dead, gone. You just, 5% are dead. So, um, so you get hit. You lose 5% of the troops, dead, dead. And then over here, at 45, you get another 5%. So 10% troop death. Very, very rough. So when the 45 from win hits you, just count 10% of everything that got hit is dead. So, ouch. Anyway, I'm going a little long on these optimizations. So let's just take a look at about how I did for this raid. Because if you cannot tell, sorry, I've got 5,500 gold, which is basically two teleports, um, which will get me killed, get me burned, get me zeroed. Um, so I'm going to call it. So our kingdom for just this raid portion is third, which can change. As you can see, we're going up to get some really tough customers. Um, kingdom one, three, and six, we actually doing better than kingdom six, which is surprising since they're one of the original kingdoms. So for me, I'm stage rank 26 right now. Oh boy, I might get knocked out of the top 30, because there's three hours left. Oof, that's going to be rough. So like I was saying, increase your march by 50% for 12 hours. You get three of those at rank one. You can't buy those. you got to earn them in events. Lots of, uh, lots of, uh, you know, march increased. Speed ups, dragon XP, gold, and uh, uh, dragon skill XP. As far as just for going through the different stages, I see I got that march increase. I got that dragon XP. I got those troop in, uh, troop speed ups, dragon skill XP, crystallized gems, and dream gem tone, dream gemstone tomes. I got a free peace shield, dragon XP, uh, what do you call that? Training speed ups, a wound conversion scroll. This is nice because it adds 100% onto your uh, wound conversion. So when you hit somebody with it, it, it saves a lot of your troops. Uh, or when you use it and hit somebody, you save a lot of your troops. And then uh, dragon... Uh, Skill XP, green, uh, crystallized gems, dream gemstone tomes, dragon XP, gold, more troop speed ups, another wound conversion scroll, dragon skill XP, crystallized gems, and three gem, uh, dream gemstone tomes. So yeah, that's, uh, that's raid in a nutshell. Uh, I'm gonna call it. I will see you dogs later in the next video. The dog is out. Deuces!